Shouldn't every Bitcoiner run a node doing their part, strengthening the network and contributing to the decentralization? Yes. Yep. But here's, here's the thing about this sentence here. Shouldn't every Bitcoiner run a node? The answer to that is yes. But not every person who owns Bitcoin. Because there, there is a big difference between a Bitcoiner and somebody who owns Bitcoin. Big difference there. If you're a Bitcoiner, that means that you have a sufficient amount of Bitcoin. You've taken the time to understand Bitcoin. You have the conviction, the knowledge around Bitcoin. That's a Bitcoiner. Somebody who owns Bitcoin in like a Robinhood wallet or a Bitcoin ETF, something like that. That's not a Bitcoiner. That's just somebody who has price exposure to Bitcoin. So I, I think that when you're getting into Bitcoin, there's so much to know. And I think that the first priority for everybody is getting as much as they can, trading everything that they have from the old world, putting it into Bitcoin, and then learning how to secure that Bitcoin, learning how to manage your keys, learning about UTXOs, learning about transaction fees, learning about the difficulty adjustment, learning about why it's important to run a node. And then eventually, once you get through all that kind of stuff, then you can look into running a node. That's what I would say. And you can also... You can also get something that's much cheaper than the start nine. Like I, I use my start nine for more than just running a node. That's why I decided to buy one. But you can run a node for very, very, very low amounts. The, and it's, so it's not about the price in that sense. It's about the time because you have to learn all these different things. And to me, I think that your time is better spent learning about private key management, UTXOs, all that kind of stuff to actually keep your Bitcoin. You have to worry about yourself first. And then you worry about the network. 